Time to get underway with our penultimate junior Rotax heat here on heat stay. It's heat five, groups A and D. Let's have a look at your starting grid. Twice a race winner today, Mateo Dedenkovic will once again start from pole position. Alongside we'll have Kenzo Craigie for company. Joshua Graham, whose uh, chain guard was the reason for his mechanical black flag, which I have been told has been secured with double the amounts of screws and nuts to it, will be starting on the inside of row number two. Uh, Tom, uh, Timo Jungling will be alongside him on row number two in fourth position. Olivier Jonkers and Ryan Bourguignon will be on row three. Lucas L and August Graver will be on row four with Zeno Homosani and Crick Kloren rounding out the top ten positions. Dave Stevens and Hamza Alfayez will be on row number six ahead of Matteo Dauvergne, Ollie Wise, Noe Janssen, Kasper Nissen and Thomas Behrman. So seven minutes plus an additional lap once again set on the timer. The red lights are on the starting gantry ahead of our penultimate junior Rotax race on heat stay. Can Rodenkovic do the clean sweep? Take three wins out of three and give us about eight and a half minutes and we'll find that answer out for you. The drivers now calmly and coolly make their way out of Dunlop at turn number 11. So the drivers now head into the tram lines. Revs rise, are we ready, are we steady? It's a full start this time. They're gonna have to go around again for another formation lap. So the full start light has been extinguished. The red lights back on their own once again on the starting gantry. Following on from the six respective heats, it will then determine the ranking after heats, the intermediate classification for the pre-final and uh, for the starting grid for tomorrow's pre-final. So Rodenkovic and Craigie on the front row will control the rolling start once again. So we're primed and ready for a second time of asking. Revs rise, lights are out first, uh, lights are out this time as the drivers make their way down into clubhouse through the slight right hand kink at turn number one. Rodenkovic gets the start he wanted. Second it's Craigie, third it's Graham. There's a little bit of a battle for fourth position, which is being led by Timur Jungling in the 265 from Dan Holland Racing as they go down the back stretch for the first time. And before half a lap is completed, Thomas Behrman has already got himself up two positions. There is some squabbling in the mid pack between the likes of Olivia Jonkers. As someone has had a little bit of an off-track excursion coming out of turn number seven. Someone's kicked up the dust again coming out of turn 11. But leading the way is Matera Denkovic. Craigie in second, Graham in third, Jungling fourth, Bourguino in fifth, followed by Sels, Weber, El Homosani, Stevens and Alfayez. Alfayez has already dispatched 
the 292 from the Netherlands to the Jordanian up into, sec uh, up into ninth place as the leaders change. Kenzo Craigie finds his way past Matej Dedenkovic through turn four and the Belgian instantly counter-attacks into turn five through into six. Craigie not giving up, not giving in and Redenkovic is off the circuit. Graham and Jungling were side by side coming out of turn number seven as Craigie leads the way. Through into Dunlop once again. So Bourguignon up into fourth, Redenkovic in fifth, but it's Craigie that leads his Argentine motorsport teammate, Joshua Graham, in second. Jungling in third. Olivier Jonkers now up into tenth place. Hamza Alfaya is now P7 and climbing the order once again. Entire field covered by just over 4.8 seconds after the opening two laps. 2.8 covered the top 13 positions, rounded out by Thomas Behrman. He's made his way past Noah Janssen. And just in front has the Yaz Heat Racing Academy driver in the form of Zeno Homosani just in front. And that's 11th on the road. Top six covered by less than a second after three laps. Bourguignon trying to get through on Timo Jungling, but then there goes Matej Denkovic up the inside. August Ravers off the track, two wheels on the grass, and that allows Hamza Alfayez to get through and now take what is effectively sixth position on the road. Coming up to half time on this penultimate junior Rotax heat here in the blazing Saturday afternoon Western France sun Western French sunshine. But Craigie is continuing to keep that lead. Rodenkovic will be looking to try and get that clean sweep. The only other two drivers that have won a race so far. One of which is in the next group coming up, Casper Shawmans, and the other one is the 265 of Timo Jungling, who currently sits in what is now second position. He's got past Joshua Graham in the meantime. So the 265 based out of London, closing in on the 244 that's leading the way. It's getting even closer at the front end of the field because the top seven looks to be getting closer and closer every single couple of corners. On to lap number six, and there's the, uh, there's the old Nigel Mansell dummy from Timo Jungling. Kenzo Craig, he gets the little touch from behind. Radenkovic is through, and there's Hamza Alfayez up the inside of Joshua Graham. That's for third place on the road. There's more attempts happening. That's the 272 of Hayan Bourguignon and the 229 of uh, XL Motorsports, August Rover, that get through. So Craig finds himself all the way down in seventh position. Not too far behind is uh, Tay Stevens from the Netherlands. Thomas Behrman is just one place away from the top 10. Might actually be in the top 10 now as they come across the line once more. And he is in 10th position. So he's got past uh, Olivier Jonkers and Zen El Homosani in the meantime. Quick Noren gets past Ollie Wise for 15th on the road, but Timo Jungling is trying to get away into the distance. That's easier said than done when you've got the likes of Matej Denkovic closing in on your back bumper. Gap between the top two we just under, was just under three tenths of a second after six laps. Now 
45 seconds to go, plus an additional lap. So that will probably mean that at a stretch we're going to get two more. So lap eight on, well, underway. And now the lead has changed. And it's possibly going to change again. Rudenkovic got up the inside. And there is Hamza Alfayez, who just waited for the window of opportunity. Now he's going for the race leading tangles with Jungling. Through into turn four. That's going to give Rudenkovic all the opportunity he needed. And Jungling forced out wide. Drops down behind Kenzo Craigie. Rudenkovic makes a mistake. Hamza Alfayez towards the outside. Towards the inside went Hayan Borguino and made an absolute pig's ear of it. Well, that was Rudenkovic, boss, more than likely. Rudenkovic uh, not having a good one either. Well, Rudenkovic now going toe to toe, side pod to side pod. Alfayez was nearly looking up the inside of him. Josh Graham is in this. Last lap, underway. It's an absolute dogfight at the front of the field. Rudenkovic is now back in the race lead. Alfayez, Graham, Borguino, Craigie, Jungling, Stevens, Behrman up into eighth place. As Graham looks for a move up the inside, has a little bit of a touch with Hamza Alfayez. That's going to bring Bayan Borguino and Kenzo Craigie through on the 298. And there is Timo Jungling also getting through on the 298 from Argenti Motorsport. But this has given Mateo Radenkovic all that he needed. One opportunity to pull away into the distance. The chequered flag will be out this time. Mateo Radenkovic powers his way to the 12th and final corner. And the clean sweep has happened. Hamza Alfayez takes second. Bayan Borguino in third. Kenzo Craigie and Timur Jungling round out the top five positions. Joshua Graham in sixth. Thomas Behrman seventh. Lucas Sells in eighth ahead of Zain El Homosani. With Olivia Jonkers rounding out the top ten. Craig Knorren in eleventh ahead of Noah Janssen. Uh, Matteo Dovern in thirteenth ahead of Casper Nissen. Ollie Wise on August Raver with Tay Stevens out with just one lap to go. But it's Mateo Dodenkovic that has provisionally taken three wins out of three. Pole position in time qualifying yesterday afternoon. And he's made it count with three out of three.